A warning, the following program contains references to sexual violence that some people may find disturbing. Andrew Tate is in the news again, facing serious criminal charges. Romanian prosecutors have indicted Andrew Tate. Because you're all very interested in me, as you can see. And we know from recent interviews exactly where he stands. Let's start with the allegations. Have you raped anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. Exploited any women for Absolutely money? Absolutely not. I know the case better than you. I know it intimately and you don't. I have seen all the criminal files and the evidence against me and you haven't. I know the truth of what happened and you don't. That was, as you can tell, a very combative interview earlier this month between Lucy Williamson of the BBC and controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate, ahead of this week's big development that Tate his brother Tristan, and two Romanian women have been indicted by Romanian prosecutors. They face charges which include human trafficking, rape, and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women. The Tate brothers and two Romanian female suspects are under investigation for abuses allegedly committed against seven women. Now, if you don't know who Andrew Tate is, he's notorious for three things. One, his misogynistic views. I don't know, because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman's yeah, given over to the Yeah, that's inherently man. where you get called sexist. No, it's not. Well, you can, you can call me sexist if you want, but if you look at marriage, it's the bride's father who gives her away. Two, his incredible wealth. The best estimates are that he's worth at least hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, I bought 600 grand of Bitcoin, which is now worth in excess of 7 million. I've done zero work. Zero. And three, his massive fame. I can't walk the street without people coming up to me saying, Top G, Top G, Top G. His videos altogether have gotten billions of views. And last summer, he was the most Googled man on the planet. But now, he is facing criminal charges. So, what do we know? Regardless of what the mainstream media keeps saying and the lies they try and purport, we get tens of thousands of messages from people every single day supporting us, and they understand that we're not the first affluent, wealthy men who have been unfairly attacked. Until now, Andrew Tate was largely controversial for his views and his reach. You know, I've heard people call him the king of toxic masculinity. I had all these girlfriends, so I'm like, maybe I could open a strip club and like be a pimp. He was born in the US, raised in the UK, a former kickboxer turned reality TV star. Day one. I decided to stay quiet. I decided to learn a lot about my housemates. That, by the way, lasted all of six days before he was kicked off of Big Brother. A video surfaced of him beating a woman with a belt, which he said was consensual, but that didn't fly for the show producers. He'd go on to amass thousands of subscribers to his so-called Hustlers University, and then millions of followers on social media, sometimes being kicked off sites like TikTok and YouTube, but always anchored by two core ideas, that feminism subjugates men, and that men should more or less take what's theirs, whether that's wealth, women, or both. It's not about being property, it's about the fact that she belongs to him, and the intimate parts of her body belong to him. Andrew Tate was first arrested late last year. Police were investigating alleged abuses against seven women. The accusation that Tate ran a cam girl empire, where young women were manipulated into relationships with the promise of love or marriage, but then subjected to violence, forced into debt, constantly surveilled, and coerced into making pornography. Shortly after his arrest, a message on Andrew Tate's Twitter account, the Matrix sent their agents. Now that's a frequent reference for him, that like in the movie, the system is out to get people like him and that his followers can either take the red pill and wake up or take the blue pill and stay complacent, subservient. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Tate and his brother denied all the charges against them, but they were in police custody for about three months. In April, they were put under house arrest, and with the latest indictment against them, there's this statement from Tate's media team. While this news is undoubtedly predictable, 
We embrace the opportunity it presents to demonstrate their innocence and vindicate their reputation. Now, one thing that has made evaluating the case against Andrew Tate very difficult is how he is reported to have said or written specific things, sometimes which seem very incriminating, but then denied ever saying or writing those things at all. You have said, my job was to meet a girl, go on a few dates, sleep with her, get her to fall in love with me to the point where she'd do anything I say and then get her on webcam so we, we could become rich together. I don't think that's what I personally said. I think that's, that's exactly what no, you said that's, on your that's, website. That's, that's, no, I've never said that. That's something that you found on the internet. Doesn't mean I've said it. And while it's not too hard to find clips of Tate saying broadly provocative things, so much original source material, podcasts, interviews, the like, have since been taken down. You know, you can find clips like this. Your goal is to inspire a girl to make money and give you the money. But they're hard to verify and it can be difficult to draw direct links. You know, police in Romania, where Tate was arrested and is facing charges, have for years been working to dismantle so-called lover boy networks that specialize in trafficking vulnerable young women and girls with false promises of sentimental partnerships and a future luxury lifestyle. Andrew Tate, is accused of employing those very same tactics and the extent to which he has openly admitted, sometimes even bragged about doing such things, may be a factor in this game. Because at the beginning she will need you, but then she won't need you. But you have to keep that fallacy, keep that dream alive. She can't do this without you to ensure that she doesn't do it without you. There are also separate charges still under investigation, which could lead to a separate indictment, including money laundering and trafficking of minors. But in the meantime, for this indictment, a trial won't necessarily come quickly. Under Romanian law, the judge has 60 days to evaluate the evidence and then decide if the case can proceed. And I'm telling you absolutely and utterly, I've never hurt anybody, that the case that's been put against me is completely and utterly fabricated, and I'm never gonna be found guilty of anything. We'll be right back.